Okay. Where's Quiet my on box? the set. Quiet. Nope. Tape is rolling. Time to go live. Everybody, this is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. Your name that's is right. Stitches now, Jack. Well, that's true too. That's right. right. Jack They're right Stitches there. Stitches right there. The Stitches. stitches. Right. Welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is hump day. Wednesday, September 12, 2018, here inside Trinity Avatar and outside Trinity Avatar. Welcome yes. to today's show, boys and girls. How's everybody doing out there? I know, don't everybody all <laughs> answer at once. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm alive. So, uh, I know you're alive. I've been following the medical updates on uh, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, is uh, everything well? well? Is we going to have to amputate and call you Stumpy? No, uh, what's going on? No, it's more like, so, <laughs> uh, I kind of am dealing with one of the serious side <clears throat> effects of the antibiotics I'm on for some odd reason, which is a sore throat. But I can't find out why a sore throat is a serious side effect. And it's oh. like I called the doctor's office or the emergency room that I spoke with, uh, that I had the stitches done at, tried to talk with the doctor. Um, and uh, the, the charge nurse actually referred me to straight to, now, you need to call your primary care physician. I, I'm going to guess that nowhere in this diagnosis did you mention that you were in an Alestorm concert the night before screaming your head off, and the side effect of that is well, usually a sore throat. Uh, did anybody ever think well, about that or diagnose that? that, that <laughs> but the sore throat preceded that. Oh, yeah. That was and, you screaming the, on the yeah. way to the concert, singing at the top of the lo your lungs I, with I, the I, I, I was, I, I was yelling and screaming <laughs> at the L Storm concert and yeah. singing along with the, all that stuff, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, but, okay. yeah, no. Uh, and, did, but then did, it, did, did it, we it fail to mention a weekend in the rain well. at the festival yeah. prior yeah. to the screaming at the L Storm concert? As a possible cause for said sore throat. No, we didn't think about any of that in the diagnosis. Hey, did hey, we? hey, hey. <laughs> if, you, if you actually I mean, read you know, that thread. I'm just looking at this. I, I call him as I see him, brother. You know how if I... you If you read that thread that's also in there. <laughs> and I did say that's possible too. What did you give me? <laughs> Someone. So yeah, I didn't so catch that, that actually. I, I was, oh, I was you did reading, not. Yeah. I was reading last night before I went to bed. I, I was reading, yeah. so I figured and, I'd pick on and, you this morning. And, and our, our friend Rustic Dragon's like, is it lasting more than four hours? It's like, dude, it's not an erection <laughs> that won't go down. Is that, that, that would be similar to one of his belches, if it lasts more than four hours. Yeah. I don't know. Who yeah. do you uh, contact if that happens? That's, uh, I don't know. I have no clue. You got a new mod? Or you got a new uh, tank? What, what is that? That shiny red thing? I'm not used to seeing that. Well, so, so I... You bought a new tank? I broke <clears throat> the other one, so I had to replace it, and they only had, like, gray, red, copper, and, like, gold color, so I went with the red. Fuck it. So it's going to stick out. I know, he's jealous of my shirt. You're he jealous loves, of my shirt? What are you talking about? Red. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! R2-D2! R2-D2! I, I love, love him, him in Star, Star Trek! Trek. 
I love up this here shirt. in the great white north, eh? Down, down here. Yeah. In the, it's more like down here in the great hot fucking south is for Jack and I. We're on opposite ends of that hot. spectrum. He's in Fucking Texas, I'm in Florida. Out. Yeah, was, uh, we, not 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 the Great White North, but of course, uh, always love bringing the hot up the McKenzie brothers. Always fun and, and very wet. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of people are gonna get wet here coming up soon. Uh, but I don't know if Eclipse is uh, in Atlanta or she's off someplace, and uh, any of our friends in the Carolinas who uh, haven't been paying attention to the news and happen to just tune in to Lunch with Laz and Jack for their news, uh, check your weather because you're about to get some nasty weather coming your way. And this is so going to be a nasty one. If you, I mean, we've had hurricanes, but this sucker's picking up speed. And uh, again, as with all hurricanes, uh, I'll be watching it next couple of days, but it looks like it's uh, going to have a lot of punch going into the Carolinas. So, and don't take my word for it. Listen to all those folks on the, uh, on the TV. You, you mean get... those people that also tell you that climate change is real? Yeah, those guys, you know, the guys yeah. who've got a 50% chance of getting it right in any given day, you know, just like over there. It may rain today. It may not. The only thing yeah. they ever get right is it's going to be hot as heck. You know, I mean, yeah, what the hey? <laughs> yep. But, uh, yes, moving <clears throat> right along is uh, we, oh, got we got some, some great some information. Boxes. What's that? Collectors, collector's boxes. You want to go right to collector's boxes? I want to go straight to collector's you boxes. You want to go straight to collector's because boxes? Because there are a lot of people saying, hey, Where's my collector's box? Where's my box? Where's my elephant? And as of three weeks ago, almost 4,000 collector's boxes shipped out to eligible backers who supported during hey, the initial Kickstarter campaign. A number. Or, yeah, or yeah, prior to... my box? To, I got the, your box where, right that's, here, we got, Yeah, Laz has it hanging. <laughs> right on shroudmarketplace.com. The good news that those I got your box is... right here, pal, and a stack of them over in the corner. Yeah. Uh about seven people have not yet received their boxes. Seven hundred. Expect... Not seven. Yeah. Seven hundred. I heard seven. He missed the hundred. Sanders said he got five when he ordered four. Yeah. Excellent. That Excellent. Is... I've I've heard story, but let let Jack get this out of the way, and we'll discuss some of the interesting yeah. things that we've heard and haven't heard. So so they're blaming the uh, seven hundred boxes that have not yet been shipped on a slew of problems. Uh, make sure none of them apply to you before contacting them about your missing, missing box. You contact boxes. them at support That's at right. portalarium dot com. Number one, Top the reason shipping address was not confirmed box. by the user. The shipping address was not confirmed. This extra step was messaged out to people over and over and in, over again. Um, and several users missed this step because it was not communicated as well as it could have been. Dun, I, I, dun, I don't... Uh... I don't know how they could have better communicated. Of course, it was going. It was going out in weekly updates. It was going out pretty much everywhere. Dude, we were telling everybody every day, three, four times a day, update your addresses. We were telling yeah. them beforehand. We were telling them afterhand. Yeah, uh, shipping address was unable to be confirmed. Yeah, some Fuck, addresses. That's, been, yeah, that's right. Are yeah. you kidding me? That's all I heard for months. Update your yeah. shipping address. Uh, Absolutely, Fruck. You're shipping right. address unable to be confirmed. This is more of like a technical glitch. Some addresses, when entered by users, were unable to be confirmed by the system. There was a message to the user about this, but some users simply ignored the message or clicked past. If you are using Microsoft Edge, please try to confirm using a different browser. Because Why are you using Microsoft Edge to start with? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, well, uh, they've been having for problems with forms on the websites. There's not a little something wrong with Microsoft you if Edge. you're using Microsoft yeah. Edge and listening to Microsoft's recommendations, in my opinion. You, you, well, you don't <laughs> want to know what they're doing with their next update. Yeah, now, th no. <laughs> th this is something where, so 
This is where it's, it gets interesting. Yeah, well, the unable to be confirmed is really interesting because I think most people know where they live. And it might be something where the postal system is rejecting it or they're... The well, form I, I can tell you that. from yeah. somebody who ships physical goods uh, on a regular basis, uh, the shipping um, systems that are used by different organizations use different databases, yeah. eh? and most well, of them yeah. rely on postal coding and all that good stuff, but sometimes they're not well, right. Yeah. I mean, I've had several customers that I punch in their postal address verbatim as they give them to me, and I've confirmed them, and it kicks it back and goes, nah, we're not going to ship yeah, that. that, that is a, that is yeah. a technical problem with the address verification system that's being used. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Hey, hey, stop that, Lily. Okay. You've been gone all weekend. You don't <laughs> no, pay no it, attention it, it, to me anymore. La last night, she tried to sleep on my back. It, it was going to happen until she started licking my ear while I was trying to sleep. That's when it's like, okay, it's time for you to get off. And Jack was having some really poignant dreams at that point. Yeah, no, not not, no, not baby, with a... Don't, don't nibble on my ear right here. We got, we got other things to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shipping address getting unconfirmed. This is more of a website bug. The system is sometimes uh, causing user addresses to become unconfirmed when a purchase is made or some other account change occurs. This sends users to issue one identified above where your address was not confirmed. Go to one, go to two, go to three, back to yes. one. <clears throat> um, weird, more website weirdness. It, it happens. Um, then after that, we do have the shipping address not provided. I and don't know where I live. It's, it's all Laz's fault. I haven't walked out. The street sweeper erased my address off the curb. I don't know what my address is. Yep. Do they even have street sweepers anymore? Uh, I haven't seen one in like 20 yes, years. Yes, they do occasionally. <laughs> very, very rarely. Uh, shipping, uh, sorry, international shipping payment was not provided. If you live outside the U.S., don't forget you're supposed to pay fifteen dollars. Uh, there's, there's now, some... they're, now they're trying to say it's thirty dollars. Now, yeah, it is some confusion. There's some hmm, yeah. moaning and groaning. I don't, I don't want to say screaming, uh, but there was some. Well, they're, they're well. Yeah, yeah. I I think that what they really should do is go ahead and send out a confirmation email to the seven hundred people that have not had their items shipped at all. Mm -hmm. Interesting idea. As, as a Interesting as idea. a uh, because you can do that easily with the SQL database and a form mail, and it's like dear so and so and. and well, not for nothing. That. If you're doing it, you might as well just send out a mass email to everybody. Just. Well, just to be you don't safe, want to send it to yeah. everybody. You only want to uh, send it to the affected people. Again, right, you know, because we'll, otherwise we'll, we'll yeah. get to the collective reports of uh, yeah. I I got three when I only ordered one. I got four yeah. when I only yeah. I got five when I only ordered four. Uh, oh yeah. I, I got one box that didn't have what it was supposed to have at this pledge. We've that, had a couple. That, 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 that's right here. We've had a couple of those, including one that we can verify of yours. Um, so, yeah. again, uh, just to be fair, I would say, and again, Frock was pointing out, that's all he heard for months. Update your address. Update your address. A mass email updates in a weekly announcement. Uh, maybe a Friday newsletter just to tell everybody that, hey, if you haven't done it, yeah, I know. Yeah, but, I know it's very easy to do with the sequel yeah. and well, pull those guys for, and gals these, out. But for the seven hundred people that have problems with the shipping right now, that the easiest solution would be send out an email, say, "Hey, your your account falls into one of these categories, and you have not been shipped your package yet. Please update that, confirm it uh, before." Uh, October 9th, 
and it will go out sometimes uh or october 19th it will begin shipping sometime in q4 so uh, otherwise if you do not have your box yet and you're expecting a box uh don't start emailing support before september 21st and for the fine print please note we yeah. cannot guarantee fulfillment to anyone who does not meet the above requirements. Address confirmation, yeah. shipping payment before October 19th. So um, after that, you'll have to contact them. And uh, I will let you uh, take the next paragraph because this is, uh, this is where they got people already fired up now. Yes. As many of you noted, at the patron and above pledge level, one of the rewards is a printed version of the prequel novel, Blade of the Avatar. Blade of Remember, the Avatar. It, is di it is slightly different than the actual novel, four chapters sort of different. Midras. It, it is missing four chapters. So the Blade of the Avatar was designed and sent out as an ebook. Uh on your account page, uh, but the hard cut or not the hardback, it's going to be a paperback, will be known as Blade of the Avatar. Um, and their original plan was to get copies of the book from the book publisher for distribution, but they could not work out an equitable deal with them. And they weren't happy with the how the layout occurred with the illustrations in the book instead of using the beautiful Dennis Lubay illustrations at the beginning of each chapter as they were designed they instead put them all lumped together at the beginning of each section of the book okay so stop yeah, yeah. stop okay they didn't put them together at the beginning of each chapter as designed instead yeah. they lumped them all together at the beginning of each section of each section being a chapter like part one part two part three okay <clears throat> So, and then you would have all the all the illustrations for each chapter. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you've never read the book. I have. So. I have uh, the book. Physical. Oh, you copy. finally read the book? No, uh, I read. Oh, okay. I started reading it in e format, and uh, again, was, I'm not the storyline related guy like you are. You know, it's, uh, it's I'm in four hundred years or two hundred years, four hundred years, and the. Before Listen, I, I've been living you UO up. history for the last 20 years in real life, oh, okay? Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I ran the shard. You know my history. So, yeah. I, you know, I, I have just a little bit of background yeah. and experience. It, okay? it, and and that's bit. where it's like, that actually brings up a, a something that's tangentially related. The, the people that think that... Uh, uh, Tracy Hickman is writing quests for the game. That is wrong. What he's that doing is, is working incorrect. on. He's working on the prehistory of the world and writing the novels for that. So when it comes to storyline and everything else, that was being done in house. Uh, but at the same time, the Blade of the Avatar, or commonly known as the Sword of Midras, um, because that's what the actual hardback is called, or paperback. Um, it is a precursor to what, what's going on before you show up. So, yeah. Um, that's right. The evil Dr. Wang will make an appearance. <laughs> yes, he, he will somewhere. Uh, but then we do also have... Uh, they've chosen to print the books themselves and ship them directly to you so they're going down to the local kinkos and saying please print this book for me and uh do it or actually that's really not what they're doing they're not going to kinkos for it but they're probably going to find some self-printing place uh that will uh, enable them to do it relatively quickly and cheaply like amazon yeah amazon will do it real cheap yeah Bill, uh, so yes. yes and so it's like if you actually read the book You'll you'll go to the that place called you'll read about this town called Opalis, and then in game you you would actually be going to the ruins because in the book it's talking about a battle that's being fought outside the walls. Yeah, you, you know, four hundred years ago. Yeah. yeah. So it's like what happened? It 
so it, it's prehistory. Hmm. Yeah, birth Who before you get there. People? Yes, so history, history. Who are these obsidians? Who are these cobblers? Exactly. And and what is this dire prophecy that's... What that's, is this, this yeah. prophecy they tell me about every time I speak to some godforsaken person in this land? No. <laughs> and who is that Lord British dude? They, 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 they seem to have been expecting me, and I didn't even know I was coming here. I don't, I don't get this. No. <laughs> Yep. You know, I'd be I'd be a little befuddled, but uh, of course, you know, everybody everybody seems to know I was coming. I wasn't planning on making this trip, man. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yes, uh, so we have a roundabout number of actually how many boxes are actually out there now. So, I'm going to take these two numbers that we were given here. Um off the top, and uh, I'm going to collectively say 4,700, approximately 5,000 boxes. Yeah. And then, 5, um, Lord British made a comment on Twitter the other day that uh, there was a thousand or so, or more, maybe 2,000. Um, so there's a, a thousand or couple thousand going to Amazon. So I'm going to say under 10,000 to be a safe bet of these boxes out there um, at this time. I don't know. I've got Lily. She's yeah, no, I'm just uh, out of the original uh, 50, 60,000 folks. I thought a lot more people were going to get boxes. Uh, that was well, just, you uh, have to remember, it was pledging at Ancestor and above, so... Understandable. There's yeah, a lot so of people who got you, in on those $20, to... $25 accounts, $30 accounts, and lots of those yeah. folks as well. Absolutely. I just, again, I... I my own thoughts, I just thought a lot more people went a lot higher than uh, that just to get the boxes. But uh, Well, the, the hard part is you have to remember that we are the oddballs in the sense that uh, we invested much more heavily than the, the normal uh, player of the game. And, so the, and the majority of the people that we speak with are also heavily invested. So we don't always speak about these things with people that are not heavily invested. Wow, that's an interesting yeah. offer. What? <laughs> I just I'm looking at the forums yeah. or anything that may be popping up, and uh, for anybody uh, out there who's looking to get rid of a Duke's town, somebody's willing to offer up a tax-free player-owned town road deed for your Duke's crown. So. That, that that is not a deal we're taking. I know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I I give you the Burger King crown. I tell you what, I'll give you a pair of bunny ears for the lot deed. How about that? Yeah, that, that's not even worth it. So why <laughs> why why is your bear um sitting right in your face? Well, you know, he's huggy. He wants attention. What can I say? He's rubbing up against me. And, is he, uh, he kind of like Lily today? Where yeah, like, you know, he's just... Tossing yeah. her off of my, my lap and she keeps yeah. on jumping right back up. He just can't get enough attention. He sits there pouting and then he gets back up and he starts nudging it's, me it's, around. It's, 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 and, you know, he, he wants attention. That's why. You've been eating salmon yeah. bagels, haven't you? <laughs> Yeah, it must be that fish left over that I left behind Zep's chair over there. Something like that. I I, I miss Zep. Has anybody gotten a hold of him? No, I went I went over and I'm gonna I'm looking forward to seeing some folks uh, when we go down to SodaCon. Uh, we're gonna have some EVL folks, and uh, I'm gonna ask in person. I've been over to their server and asked before, and uh, you know, left messages to say, hey, if you all see him, tell them we're worried about him, and. Uh, Nothing, so I don't know. Is, yeah. uh, I did reach out to Omen Crow, got in touch with him finally, and uh, coffee business is, is brutal, so the coffee business is putting a hurting on him, and uh, of course, all sorts of other real life things, so. He's like, Brands. I'm all right, just, you know, busy, busy. Life threw a curveball with the coffee business. 
Yep. His grandson won't let him off of Minecraft. Yeah, now if several people know about Omen Omen Crow's coffee, you guys know how good that stuff is, man. He's got some killer coffee. Oh yeah. Except I don't drink coffee. Yeah, you know, it was, I had a pass. When we were in uh, Austin, he sent some for all of us at the Airy Fund, and I know, uh, what did you do with your portion? You sent your portion home with Arius or Justin? Because that's what I did. I think I sent mine home with one of them. I didn't even get a portion. Oh. Because you, he knows I don't drink coffee. Yeah, okay. Well, again, he so, sent, yeah. yeah. Again, I didn't, yeah. Didn't have the weight requirements, man. I was down to like, you know, that on um, my uh, weight requirements. Yeah, Boo Ladi Dada. This is a guy we're talking uh, about. Yeah. Is, uh, yes, it in, is. In in one of the, uh, today's other posts. So let's get this one up on screen because yeah. uh, I think it's a fair question yeah, for you, somebody you who don't is want to new. See what's on my other screen? Actually, you, know. you want to see what's on my other screen, but you don't get to. <laughs> and where do That's I sad. have that? that? Is, I gotta find that. That, right that is tab. my Twitter feed, which has way too much inappropriate stuff on it. You think? Oh, oh yeah. It's like, hey, I'm gonna click on that picture. Oh yeah, I, I want to click on that picture some more. Uh, but yes, Boo La Di Da. He wants to know why crowns are tradable. Why are crowns tradable? Well, Boo, let's start yeah. with the the hey. obvious question. Where so, did so, all the crowns come from in the first place? Actually, we should, I'm jumping way ahead. Go ahead and... Uh, so, yeah. he's not a financial advisor, even claimed to understand how a gaming economy is created, but he keeps coming back to his own thoughts on why did Portalarium make crowns tradable i feel that if they are non-tradable they would have an incredible revenue for them to help pay the bills i can't be the only one that thinks this of course the ones selling them back and forth they're not going to agree with me i'm just interested in hearing what people think about it i'm a new player i started after launch and almost every day since their launch there have been many signs of portalarium not making enough money or cutting staff because of lack of money which is fine, as I understand that. But from my standpoint, there is nothing I need to buy from them other than the $39 for the account. I love this game. I want to be here when it's the surprise episode 6 is being surprise. planned. The only reason I wanted to upgrade to a lot bundle was for the commission-free vendor and dev forum access. Uh, now it's considered cheap to just buy a commission-free vendor. And a town tax deed costs the same as a subscription-based game, even cheaper because crowns are cheaper to get from players and not Portalarium. This is no way a hate thread. I just want to know what, why people think crowns should remain a tradable item. There That's is good. a lot of d discourse about this. Yes. So now, The uh, first thing I want to say, again... <laughs> Where did all the crowns come from? They started with Portalarium. So this. all the crowns, except for those rare drops, and I mean, it's not like there are thousands of them dropping. There's nobody getting rich off of Kodo drops, so let's just write that one off. All Kodos began with the purchase from Portalarium. Portalarium. End of, end of story, okay? Yeah, like 99%, 99.9% of the crowns out there all came from some sort of purchase on the store. That could either be the bundle as a purchase, the uh, being a benefactor, founder, or royal founder. Also, those accounts also received crowns as well. Uh, but you'd already contributed a significant sum. Or yes, you are yep. part somebody of the who put in yeah. you know, five thousand dollars for a Duke account only got a hundred kodos or something on their account, so it's not like um, that was a bunch. And for a while, you got a fifteen percent bonus. Yes, for purchasing yeah. at certain times of the year. But again, 
Uh, most of those Kodos have come and gone, but even at that, they were purchased originally, so I just want everybody to, yes, Kodo crowns drop in the game sometime. Um, that does yeah, happen. Yeah, but very, very infrequently. It's and like, it, they're drop. usually of other than gold. They're silver, they're copper, they're bronze, they're whatever. I I've only think I've ever gotten one gold Kodo as a drop. So anyway, Why moving right again? along. Um, but so it is one where it's tradable to facilitate purchases from the add-on score from people that do not have the cash to buy the crowns. They can actually acquire those crowns with in-game gold from other players or as very, very rare drops. And then they can make an add-on store purchase with those funds. Off and so Kodo you have an Avengers. entire yes, you have players that would actually go out. Uh, I know people. I, I, I hate to say this. I know a couple <laughs> of people that the one time that the crowns were on sale on the add-on store, that they bought a few thousand of them. Uh, I didn't buy a few thousand, but I made a purchase. You you, you bought you bought a chunk. I bought a chunk, uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Was Again, not, that, yeah. that's all I gotta say. I Was tell not, you what, I yeah. kick myself every day in the ass when I purchased my Duke and I didn't wait for a fifteen percent sale, you know. But uh, that was that was my fault. I was new and excited, and uh, I wanted to get in. I wanted to get my piece of land. I wanted to get you know my piece of the action and get in and get started. So, but you couldn't uh, wait till yeah. the weekend <clears throat> when the Duke was twenty percent off. No, there, that didn't actually... Uh, now, also, I want to point out, well, at the very beginning, one of the things that uh, yeah. that was changed, <clears throat> you used to be able to actually buy a Kodo in the store, go to a vendor and sell it to the vendor and cash it in for gold. But there's yes. there was security and exchange commission stuff there that was going on, or whatever it was. I, I It may not have been that deep, but there were... Um, all sorts of things they had to do to uh, prevent any liability on that, their part. By that, that was that that was that fell under the money laundering laws, and we uh, can't be doing that shit. Thank you, thank you. Well, that also happened pre-persistence, not post-persistence. True, true. Now, so. w with the advent of Kodos and games, this created an, an even more interesting market because as things went up and down, Kodo prices have gone up and down. And yeah. um, I can definitely speak, or Duke might even be the greatest guy to speak for, or how, how a successful guild builds its gold stockpiles is buy low, sell high. So, you know, at times when it was cheap to buy Kodos for in-game gold, a lot of people had a lot of in-game gold bought Kodos. And then when Kodos went up, they put the Kodos on sale and doubled their gold. Um, and, well, and that's not that's not how we did it in the BMC. In the BMC, we robbed all the local banks with pitchforks, and then if they told us, well, we came back and beat them with a shovel. <laughs> Pretty much. Giving away trade secrets over here. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, you get the gist. Uh, with, with any other market that has any, you know, whether whether it be in the virtual world or in the real world, uh, the currencies have their own fluctuations and values and trading points. And uh, Skeggy was it not Skeggy? Uh, who was it? Uh, Sater, Sater's stinky sewer shop man. He was recycling those puppies. He, he was making some deals, and uh, he was the original 50% off guy, wasn't he? As far uh, as I'm concerned. No, he, he was always around like 35% off or something. I don't know. I, I, yeah. I, I just, I, he sticks in mind, Sater's Stinky Sewer Shop, because he was always the guy to go to for Kodos on the cheap. Oh, yeah. yeah so. And it, you should always check out those Kodo prices at Shroud Marketplace just because that is cheaper than you can get off the add-on store which means that you know what somewhere they either bought something in with in-game gold or those those crowns came from somewhere they are not created in-game as drops because they are rare drops very, very yes rare. Uh, again so it, they it, do it's drop. one where it's like 
is there an issue with uh, buying Kodos off the secondary market? Really, no. It's still indirectly supporting Portalarium. It's the same thing with everything that's in the secondary market. All of that indirectly supports Portalarium. Uh, it may not be direct enough for you, but it is something that it is that indirect assistance is actually more powerful in the long term. Well, is uh, the life of the currency eventually peters out, doesn't it? Eventually it goes back to a Kodo vendor and goes poof. Yeah, it, as soon as it's spent or if it's even used to repair I, an item, that Kodo go. is gone from <clears throat> the world forever. So, it like if I if I if we went down down uh down to downtown Owl's Head and Main Street, uh, we could go to the Kodo vendor, we could buy something, and those Kodos are completely gone. They are not replenished in any way. Um, it may, at some point in the future, impact the uh, drop rate of Kodos, but it, it would be a very insignificant uh, change. Now, again, we understand that Chris keeps an eye on that uh, yeah, drop and he adjusts he, and he adjusts the uh, the the drop rate. And again, um, it's, yeah, it's it's not a point where uh, we've ever seen anything where um, I'll give you all a, a good uh, good example: the cowbell or the dolly. Um, the cowbell, yeah. the original drop rate was a little higher than intended, and lots of people got them. Now, well, it's back re down remember, he he actually he he even said he tuned it up for that weekend. Yes, but uh, in the meantime, Kodos never like that. Kodos have uh, yeah. very very low, Always, and yeah. and he moderates it according to the market, according to uh, several different varying factors. I I don't know exactly what they all are, so I'm not going to say anything about that. Yes, and uh, that depends, Sater. And you probably got the best, uh, best. Uh... Yeah, well, I tell you what, uh, Kodos hit a new low of forty cent the other day in in yeah, and on the forum. So uh, if you're still up there, um, I've seen several offers that low over this past week. So you may want well, to just get a bit of grip. offer. An offer doesn't mean that it's. It's really gonna uh, happen. All I'm right. sorry, guy said I'm selling 250 for whatever it was at 40 cents, and they were gone. It, yeah, he offered them at 40 dollars. cents, he sold them. Somebody else offered them 40 cents, he sold them. They were gone. I mean, so um, again, yep. as remember, somebody paid full price for those somewhere. So if you're getting them for a steal. Um, I wouldn't feel bad about it because I don't, when I buy stuff cheap like that, it allows me to get some of them nice shiny things a little cheaper. And everybody likes to save a buck. I mean, you know, we like to save you a buck in several places. You know, Shroud Marketplace, uh, Relic Spy Rilled, Hometown Hero. You know, we like saving people money. And uh, if we can save you money by showing you where you can get your Kodos cheap or where you can get stuff uh, on the cheap, well, that's what we like to do. We like to save you folks some money, so. <laughs> yes, we do. That's right. Blow your Kodos on die packs. Hey, do it. Do it. Because you need that sparkly die. Do it. <clears throat> yes, but it... it Going back to Boo's conversation, it's like the the reason crowns are tradable, they always have been, and they will probably always be tradable, is because, you know what, that actually gives players a reason to facilitate trade in-game. And th this is one where it's like, at one point in ta time, a crown was trading for, uh, it has always had an in-game value tied to it, of 3,500 gold pieces. But play, within the player economy, it was down to less than 1,000 at one point in time. And so you would have people buying and selling Kodos at 1,000, so 30% of the value. And but and then you've also seen it spike to where a Kodo was actually worth over 4K, even though Absolutely. the game says it's tied at 3,500 because that is the amount that can be used to play, pay taxes. So yeah. as the Kodo economy fluctuates, 
Yeah, uh, you I always up with love all kinds that. Of on and them. again, yeah. I understand, but when a Kodo is valued at thirty-five hundred for yep. rent, game-wise, I I just don't see why anybody else would ever pay any more for it. Yeah, now, I would not pay more for Kodo than thirty-five hundred. I, I, I will ever. tell you this: Yeah, when I rent rooms to people, I tell them it's two Kodos a month. And they go, what's a Kodo? I explain Kodos. And they go, well, can I just pay you in gold? And I go, no. It's because you can probably you can get Kodos, Kodos cheaper than that. Money. And you can get them higher than that. Wherever you buy them, I'll tell you to shop around and get them. Otherwise, I'll sell them to you for 3500 Kodo. Yeah, you know, 3500 gold. But I won't take gold. Gold, it's, gold. It's gold. No, but again. Yeah, I, Laz, Laz wants to charge them 3500 Kodos for a Kodo. Well, oh, my. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. no, I mean, it, that's what I was doing. I was selling them for 35 when they were cheaper because that's what they were worth to me. But, uh, you know, and exactly. they buy them off yeah. my vendor. But meanwhile, um, I take two Kodos because I base my rents with the house lot rent. So, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to go crazy on it. You know, if you're going to rent the whole lot from me, I want rent plus a Kodo for myself. That's all. It's my lot. I'm letting you use it. You get free run of it, you know. Hey, that's that's a business proposition. Yeah, and I, I rent out rooms for buckets of water. Yeah, they, there you go. Is that you know that's that's your your form of payment. That's absolutely acceptable. But uh, well, point point water being water was that here. I would tell people that listen, you know, I just want the Kodo. I don't care whether you pay four K for it or two K for it. I just want the Kodo to cover the rent on the property. So that's that's the way I base it. But. Uh, Moving right well, along. Uh, uh, otherwise, you have to adjust rents weekly and or absolutely more and, as you know, the gold market. Uh, yeah. Well, you only, well, you only charged me twenty eight hundred gold last week. Why are you charging me forty eight hundred this week? Well, Kodo prices went up. Well, uh, no, you, you just give me the Kodos, and I don't care what you pay for them. I get my Kodo. That's all. But uh, we do have to talk about the spotlight of the day. And the spotlight of the day the, is... That uh, thing that's going on later tonight? Going on tonight, thanks to uh, some folks that we uh, are affiliated I, with. I uh, my, the Airy Fund. I lost my tab. The Airy Fund, uh, Hannah Alpenglow, is uh, going ahead and throwing a party uh, in support of our direct fundraiser for our good friend Bob the Builder. Uh, otherwise known as the official leader of the cult of Bob. Well, he's the unofficial official leader. Yeah. He, the cult is based around Bob, but I don't think Bob really ever uh, took any leadership authority for it. But uh, as you can see, I've got my bunny ears in support of the cult of Bob fundraiser tonight. And that's going on out at uh, Celestial Gardens. Going to be going on during happy hour tonight here in Novia. And that's Eclipse Maiden's town. Eclipse Maiden will be uh, rocking the airwaves on WRFB Radio Free Britannia tonight. So you can tune in there on the in-game radio. Go out to Celestial Gardens and join in as Hannah rocks you guys with a fundraiser to help support Bob the Builder. And of course, all you got to do is show up. Tell them all about that, Jack. Tell them about the fun, the games. The yeah, Jack, tell us about it. What? Beer you, brought. You, you, beer brought and bread. I mean, the game gotta where love you it. can win all kinds of things. I mean, even just showing up, uh, like, you'll get a raffle ticket. Uh, every every person that has is given a raffle ticket your name is actually written down and at the end of the night he's going to do a a, a, a grand prize raffle and give away something that's worth a lot of money but if you show up See he's below. also going to be making a he's going to be making a donation to the cult of bob to help bob cozy stand in a line yeah. and dance the time warp yeah, I probably won't. I'll probably be doing something else. So the grand prize winner tonight will be receiving... Shh. Shh. Wait for it. Tax-free place anywhere lot deed and a Bob Observatory. And a Bob Observatory. Okay, yes. all you and, gotta do but the, is show up. 
Get a lottery yep. ticket. Get a raffle ticket. Sorry, raffle ticket. And you do not have to be present to win. You just got to come and up, say, hey, I'm yeah, here you, in support of Bob. Collect the ticket. Where's my raffle ticket? <clears throat> yeah. Now, of course, uh, you're more than welcome to say, stay. We uh, wish that you will stay and enjoy the party and the festivities and join in with the rest of the community uh, in support. And, of course, it's going to be a couple hours of fun. It's going to be a beach party, so uh, dress to impress on the beach of Novia out in Celestial oh, Gardens. Yeah. And don't forget, uh, it, go ahead and try to bread, brat, in beer is actually a participatory uh game and it's fun it really it's, it's, is fun it's fun don't afk during the game don't be that asshole don't don't, don't be that asshole yeah, okay. no don't, don't afk don't, don't be that asshole in the that middle just of AFKs the, in, in the middle, the middle of the play field uh, yeah. that's right on yeah <laughs> uh don't be that asshole um but it it is something where it is good it's it's showcase of the community event. It helps you improve your friends list. Friend everybody that's not on your friends list already. And it, it does help out our friend Bob, who is in need. And don't forget, if you want to make a donation directly to Bob, you can go to the GoFundMe.com slash Cult of Bob. Of Bob. And put you some can links out here for everybody. There. I already got you, baby. I already got you. Yeah, I beat you. See, see, mine was first. <laughs> mine was first all three places. Yeah, I don't think so. You better, you better On look my over. screen, it is first. Mine I didn't is, even get my... to your stream. See? Exactly. First on all three. And even first on yours. I don't know. Mine according says... To, according uh, to my screenshot. NBNN Cynicist. I don't know. Hey, hey man. Uh, according to my screenshot. Mine, I don't mine care is... who got it there first. Go support Bob. Yeah. That's all we got to say. We're going to fight about the link. Go support Bob. That's what it's all about. And I'm going to put this up on screen on the GoFundMe. $3,485 raised. Well above the $2,500 goal. Don't forget... That uh, Hannah is donating ten dollars for every person that shows up. So, and of course, if you want to donate directly, click on that donate button out there. All these proceeds go directly to our good friend Bob. And Bob, yes. I hope you're so, feeling better. Uh, if you go to the post out there on the forums, Bob has chimed in with uh, his sincere appreciation to all of you guys and gals who have chipped in so far. And uh, he s sort of tells the story in his own words. Uh, so if you all want to read a little bit more about that, go check out the forum post on that. And, uh, of course, look forward to seeing you. We'll be out there tonight uh, joining in. Uh, Jack will probably be AFK dancing in the middle of the game board, as usual. <laughs> oh, 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 my I, I moved the board away from the dance floor oh you moved the what? board okay good for I, you good i'll for still you. find a way to accidentally afk <laughs> on it as i do other things as he always does that's right yeah. it's even better when you afk you're and you're on the winning tile for three rounds uh it, which has happened once once that's maybe right. you can afk and get your bunny okay. back Courtesy of Stroud Marketplace. That's right. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, there's a bunny. I uh, forgot to mention that uh, there He's are all rabbit. sorts of other prizes that are also given away during the uh, party. So don't just come get the ticket, like I said, to uh, get the grand prize. You got to hang out and uh, participate because it's a fun time. So, yes. Oh yeah, you you bet you better believe Jack's got that coconut bra on when he's on the beach. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what, what coconut you, bra? You, you I, got I, I you really got requests. Some some she, somebody she, she has she has an exception. Yeah. She accepts, <laughs> not expects. She accepts. She accept. Oh, it's oh, an no, exception. She, it's an exception, man. It, exception. She, so she yeah. wants you to be wearing an exceptional coconut bra. Okay, I, I, I got. It. I, I don't know what it is she really wants. I'm confused. I know what the, she wants. The English is bad. She wants to. She wants those pictures of Jack without the coconut bra. On. That's what she wants. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, she was. Pay, she paid good money to see pictures with the coconut bra. On. Can you imagine yeah, she, how much she'd she, pay she to see you without the coconut bra? For, for the, the picture of this guy. I know. I am. <laughs> 
payment. Ah, Thratty, yeah, we love you. We, we of course, uh, we got to pay the bills somehow, right? That's right. That's right. So real quick, we're going to go ahead and switch on over. We're going to tell you folks about that Envy and Entratity Avatar that we have. For all you good folks out there, if you want to take Entratity Avatar with you on the go, when you go or wherever you go, get the Envy and Entratity Avatar app. Available on the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store. You too can check in and read the daily calendar brought to us by our good friends at hometownhero.com for all your vape juice needs. And of course, if you want to find out what's going on in and around Shrouded Avatar, you can check the calendar daily or tune in as this guy reads most of it every day. Depending on his mood. Yeah, exactly. There, there have been days where it's like, hey, I'm not doing the calendar. I'm not doing this thing. We're out of here. And there's been days yeah, where I've right. totally <laughs> skipped the calendar just because I forgot. You, you forgot? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and I'm like, uh, we're missing something you, here. He's but, looking at the clock yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> but but you can always That's access that that NBNN community, Shroud of the Avatar community calendar at nbnn.info. Click on the calendar button. Don't forget, you can also find it on the app. And it is a Google public calendar that Laz has meticulously aggregated all of the available Shroud of the Avatar community calendars that he knows about. If you have a Google public calendar related to Shroud and you want it connected, or if you want to add events to the NBNN Shroud community calendar, you need to email that guy. News That's at right. nbnn.info. All, all these do something with it. And I don't know what it is, but they'll do something and list. magically your calendar may be connected. That's right. Yes. And don't forget, all times on the community calendar are central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as nude Britannia nude time. Britannia. Yes. Yes. And uh, yeah. Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s around the clock on your ether amplifiers. That is Radio Radio Free Britannia. WRFB. Yes. No, oops. We're, we're, what's, what's an in-game radio look like? Where is it? There's, Looks like there's that thing right in radio front of us there. Radio Free Britannia. That one. That's the one you need to go to. And you can lunch, listen to two idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to a little show called Lunch with us. You should have a that. headset available or at least maybe a what? Sky Navy helmet or a... Uh, on Shroud Marketplace? Helmet. I believe they're already out there on Shroud. You can buy radios, ether vibration headsets, and of course, any clockwork helmet in game has a radio built in and the patterns. The radio stays with the patterns now. So. That's right. Yeah, that's and then at six o'clock on Avatar's radio this Bear afternoon, Cub. you can have DJ Bear Cub at seven oh. PM on Radio Radio Free Britannia. Is the seventies at seven? 8 o'clock, don't forget, DJ Eclipse Maiden's taking the over the airwaves on Radio Radio Free Britannia for that party part out. Un. Yeah, unmedicated schizophrenia part un, but in-game, you really do need to show up to that beach party that we talked about earlier, supporting the cult of Bob. Yes. 8 p.m. Central. That is what time the party begins. Yes, it does. In the town of Celestial Gardens, which is over by Brittany. Now, I'm going to take a wild guess that if happy hour is going on, Sparhawk is going to be crossing it over to Celestial tonight. That would hopefully, just be hopefully, a yeah, guess. don't know. If not, uh, there's a party going on elsewhere. Yeah. And then no happy Tim hour this week. What's uh, that? No happy hour. No happy, no happy hour. hour. Okay, so it okay. will be officially unofficial at Celestial then. Yep. Uh, but host. then after that, we do at 10 p.m. The final event of the evening is in Radio Radio Free Britannia, and that is the Wicked Womb. That's right. Don't forget, folks, you're tuned in to Lunch with Laz and Jack right here on nbnn.info, twitch.tv slash Genesis. Twitch.tv slash NBNN News. 
catching us in replays on YouTube or on the in-game radios. We do appreciate it, and thank you for tuning in and watching. Of course, we don't recommend anybody watch our show, but uh, we thank all of you guys who are crazy enough to stick with us and uh, help support keeping us on air. If you want to become a supporter, you can go to any of the links that we have. On, uh, just click on those donate buttons or uh, the, the donate buttons, right? I don't know if we got any other words down there, but if you want to become a supporter, you can also become a patron. Go to patreon.com slash nbnn. If you've uh, got cryptocurrency and you want to donate with crypto, go over to Jackstream. He accepts crypto. And for all of you good guys and gals out there who have Amazon Prime accounts, and I know y'all got them because nobody wants to wait for shipping anymore. You get a free sub every month, and we'd appreciate it if you use those on our streams. Thank you for all your support, and of course, we love all you guys. Don't forget the airy fun. Become a supporter today and play for a cause. Get out to Celestial tonight and support Hannah Applinglow and Eclipse putting on the party for the Cult of Bob. Uh, with the Airy Fund, getting this fundraiser going for everybody. Airy Fund taking care of all the community causes. And uh, if you need help, reach out to the Airy Fund. Airyfund.org. We've got a bunch of folks who work to keep helping our avatars in need. SodaCon Austin coming up in about a month, and it's gonna be a doozy, folks. All sorts of great events, gatherings, and uh, uh, talks and conferences going on. This is a chance to get down and rub elbows with the devs, uh, share stories, uh, give them ideas, and uh, listen to what they've got coming up next. A lot of open discussion there, so if you've got ideas, bring them with you. Tickets still available, sodaconaustin.org for the latest. Our friends at hometownhero.com for all your vape juice needs. Save 20% at Hometown Hero when you mention us, NBNN, when you check out Hometown Hero. Oil more wands, putting the magic in your hands. Rhoda's Music Service, putting the music in your ears. If you're lonely and need company, hire Scrota. He'll get your day going. The Britannian Mining Company wants you to come join the BMC. Are you a like-minded mining type? Are you looking for a bunch of crazy folks who like to spend their days down in the mines? And the Britannian Mining Company is for you. Come, come on visit our Black Rock Cove, located in the Quell region next to the town of Exeter and conveniently located to those mines that you want to be in. Relicsbyriddle.com for all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. Use the promo code NBNM when you check out. Save 10% on your purchase. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest in news and entertainment 24-7 round the clock, including hourly world news. Keep you informed. And last but not least, the shroudmarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs because... If there's something out there and you want to get it on the cheap, Shroud Marketplace is the place to go because you can get virtually anything. Anything and everything at ShroudMarketplace.com. And that's everything's coming from one of the one of 130 different vendors that are registered at Shroud Marketplace. And each one of those vendors is responsible for setting their own prices and maintaining their own inventory. So you get all kinds of great things, like the newest item out there, a hundred glass sheets, and you can find that. Glass you can find sheets. all the Grand Tour hats. How much are you, you selling can... those glass sheets for? I don't know. You'd have to go to ShroudMarketplace.com and check it out. I can tell you, it's right on my <laughs> no, screen. No, we can't. We can't tell Spiff. Spiff has to go check it out himself. <laughs> but then anything for uh, is available from accounts to game gold, crowns of the obsidian, cheaper than you can get off the add-on store. I Ten awesome masks that set. Stuff. Like that list. That's nice. Because that that stuff is way pre uh, pre release. I mean, so it is all the good stuff. Uh, <laughs> and you can even find services out at Shroud Marketplace, from leveling services to Scrota's music service for five dollars gets you anything you want. 
Bambino's got a Gus Ball service. Then we've got the most epic cheese sign writing service out there in the world from Wolfdom Shop. Or if you're really looking for something really interesting and you want to make something a little bit more permanent, you can always contact a wedding service. That's right. If you're looking to get hitched, check out Lazarus Long's Weddings and More because it's not just weddings, it's a whole lot more. If you're looking to get married in game and you're looking for a location, you're looking for a tire, you're looking for custom vows, come see me because I've got everything you need all in a package deal to make your day special. And of course, if you're looking for those uh, Teleton rewards, you're looking for those rares, or looking for some lot deeds on the cheap, <clears throat> looking for some of them rings of Brill Brawn or Leech Kind, ors, want to buy a duck? Hey, I got ducks for sale. You know, I, I've always wanted to be able to sell. You've got all kinds of stuff on your buy shop. And sell a I, duck. I've got some. <laughs> I've got some stuff on my shop as well. That's right. Uh, Boo wants to know whether or not when you're going to put your divorce service up up at shroudmarketplace.com. Oh, well, <laughs> I think, he, I think well, he may we, have. We, we actually have an agreement with the uh, yeah. law services of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. And uh, you yeah. can contact them. Uh, you need to contact me. Uh, they do divorces and or annulments yeah. uh, for a nominal fee. But, Probably a but lot more nominal than that. But that does need to be posted out at Shroud Marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> and, we got, and there's another divorce service out there called Ditch Your Quick and Hide. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But if, go visit stratmarketplace.com. If you're interested in selling your stuff, you do need to register for an account and then click on vendor registration. And you too can start adding your stuff. That's uh, right. It's so easy. Laz can do it. Hey, but it I is that time where what? we have to thank the most important people shit. around here. That's yeah. right. We got to get out of here. We'll be back with more news, sports, entertainment, crazy, wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans right here on the NBNN lot in-game and on your in-game radio. Have a great day, everybody. Till tomorrow, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.